in this lecture we are going to talk about the importance or the involvement or the role of nervous system in regulation of the circulation we are discussing cardiovascular system and we have discussed different component components of the cardiovascular system we have discussed the role of heart we have discussed the role of different vessels and we have discussed the circulation at molecular level at the level of endothelial cells of the capillaries we have discussed circulation at the level of osmosis and diffusion and uh, exchange of ion that is taking place at the level of capillaries and tissue cells now we are going to discuss the the involvement or the important role that the nervous system the brain the spinal cord and the different nerves that plays in the circulation the control of the circulation and and increasing or decreasing the heart rate now <clears throat> nervous system control is a global phenomenon rather than tissue by tissue previously in the last few lectures we have been discussing the local and humoral control of blood flow and we discussed that the blood the most of the tissues most of the tissues they control their blood flow by increasing or decreasing the the diameter of the blood vessels that is supplying the blood to the tissues similarly they could increase or decrease the blood flow with the help of hormones they act that act on different receptors present on the tissues so one was known as the local mechanism and the other was the humoral mechanism which we have discussed in detail but oh both of these mechanisms the local and the humoral both of them were very very tissue specific both these mechanisms help to increase or decrease the amount of blood to some specific tissue like adrenal gland or like liver or kidney or some any other tissue but in contrast to that local and humoral control of blood flow the nervous control the nervous control is a global is a global phenomenon rather than tissue by tissue so when the nervous system plays its role when the brain or the spinal cord or the nerves they play their role in the regulation of circulation they act globally they act throughout the human body they are not acting tissue by tissue so they are not increasing or decreasing the blood supply of uh, a specific tissue they are rather increasing the or decreasing the blood supply globally now we know that the nervous system the nervous system is basically divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system nervous system is divided into central and peripheral the central nervous system include the brain and the spinal cord peripheral nervous system include the neurons the neurons then basically can be divided into this motor and sensory the motor then is divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic as well as some uh, the 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 peripheral nervous system then is divided basically into autonomic and somatic system and the som the autonomic is then divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic so basically the most important role that is played uh, by the nervous system in the control of circulation is through the autonomic nervous system which is part of up the peripheral nervous system so central nervous system includes both this uh, the nervous system includes both the central and the peripheral nervous system and the peripheral peripheral nervous system basically then is divided into the somatic and autonomic and autonomic then is divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic but the nervous system control is mostly nervous control of circulation is through autonomic system although the somatic system the central system may play some role but mostly mostly it is through the autonomic nervous system which is a motor system the autonomic nervous system is further divided the autonomic nervous system is further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic and parasympathetic most important part of autonomic nervous system is sympathetic nervous system 
most important in regard to circulation so the control of the nervous system on the circulation control of nervous system on circulation control of nervous system on circulation is mostly with the help of autonomic nervous system and in the autonomic nervous system it is with the help of sympathetic nervous system well how the sympathetic nervous system uh, is made basically sympathetic nerves they are derived from t1 to t12 like the thoracic at each level of the spinal cord there is a spinal nerve coming out from the spinal cord so the nerves coming out at first thoracic uh, spinal nerve till the 12th thoracic spinal nerve t1 to t12 or the dorsal spinal nerves as well as the first and second lumbar nerves these components of the uh, of the neurons coming out at these level neurons coming out as at these level basically has the sympathetic component so sympathetic nervous system basically is formed or it is present at the level of 12 dorsal nerves or thoracic nerves and first two lumb lumbar nerves once they come out from the spinal cord this is here we have the spine uh, the brain and here we have the spinal cord and at the level of t1 to t12 t1 to t12 and then l1 and l2 t1 to t12 plus l1 and l1 and l2 lumbar 1 and lumbar 2 these spinal uh, sympathetic nerves come out once the sympathetic nerves come out of the spinal cord they they form the preganglionic neuron then they go into the ganglion and from the ganglion they go into uh, they go and innervate different body parts now the sympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system it can come with the help of specific sympathetic nerves it can come out as a specific sympathetic nerve or it can come out as a peripheral portion of the spinal nerves at each level of the spinal cord there is a spinal nerve coming out so sympathetic nerves coming out at these level they can form individual sympathetic nerves or they can come as a portion of the peripheral por as a portion of the spinal nerves these sympathetic nerves they go to the ganglion and from the ganglion they form the post ganglion preganglionic fibers before the ganglion once they go to the ganglion these ganglion are present on the sides of the vertebral column and they are known as paravertebral ganglion or paravertebral ganglia after innervating or after coming to the ganglion the, the nerves coming out of the ganglion are known as post ganglionic fibers the post ganglionic fibers go and innervate the different uh, body parts the blood vessels or the uh, different viscera there is one important difference the heart is basically innervated by direct sympathetic nerves heart is basically innervated directly with the help of sympathetic nerve some other viscera are also innervated directly with the help of sympathetic nerve some specific sympathetic nerves but the blood vessels the blood vessels they are innervated by sympathetic nerves that they that are component of the spinal nerves so the heart and some other viscera are basically innervated directly with the help of sympathetic nerves and vasculature or the blood vessels is innervated by sympathetic nerves that are basically part of the spinal nerves up till now we have learned that the nervous system regulates the helps in regulation of the circulation nervous system basically controls the circulation globally it is not controlling the circulation uh, tissue by tissue and the nervous system control is mostly with the help of autonomic nervous system it is not with the help of somatic mostly it is autonomic nervous system in the autonomic nervous system it is mostly with the help of sympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nerves they are basically of specific sympathetic they are of two types mainly sympathetic specific sympathetic nerves and uh, sympathetic nerves as part of the spinal nerves 
Now here comes the main story. What happens when the sympathetic nerves what happens when the sympathetic nerves innervate the different viscera like the heart and different blood vessels? The sympathetic nerves basically when they innervate the blood vessels they mainly innervate the artery the arteriole the venule and the veins they do not innervate the capillary or the precapillary sphincters they mainly innervate the artery arteriole venule and veins sympathetic nervous system has a lot of import a lot of functions but we are just discussing the role of sympathetic nervous system in relation to circulation because we are discussing series of lectures about the uh, cardiovascular system so the sympathetic nerves that are circulating the blood vessel here we have these blood vessels different veins and different arteries when these sympathetic nerves they when they innervate or they stimulate the artery or arteriole this leads to vasoconstriction when vasoconstriction occurs blood goes towards the heart blood goes towards the heart suppose for example we have the heart and the blood is coming here and then then coming back to the heart the sympathetics when they innervate these portions of the blood vessels they get squeezed the volume of these blood vessels get squeezed and the blood is pushed toward the heart so they basically play an important role in pushing the blood towards the heart specifically they when innervate the veins the diameter of the veins decrease and they push the blood present in the veins toward the heart so here they basically play an important role in increasing the blood flow towards the heart and sympathetic nerves they mostly get activated they mostly get activated in sympathetic response when there is more need of blood to the human body and to the heart so they get activated they push the blood to the heart at the level of artery and arteriole they constrict these portions they constrict the sympathetics basically cause vasoconstriction of the arteries and arterioles and they increase the resistance when the peripheral uh, resistance the resistance in the blood vessels in the periphery get increased there is more blood available in these portions of the blood vessel so it helps in increasing the mean arterial pressure so in the level of vasculature the sympathetics help to push the blood towards the heart as well as it helps in increasing the mean arterial pressure by increasing the peripheral resistance at the level of the heart sympathetics increase activates the heart and when the heart get activated by the sympathetic nerves it start uh, beating at a faster rate increase rate an increased force of contraction so the power the pumping power of the heart increase and the rate of contraction of the heart also increase so that's introduction about the role or the importance of nervous system in regulation of the circulation and we discussed that the the, the role of the circulation the nervous system in circulation is global it is not Uh, tissue by tissue rather when it gets activated it it activates or it stimulates the arteries arterioles venules and the viscera throughout the human body and it is not mostly specific to some organs then the the nervous system regulation is mostly through the autonomic system and in the autonomic system it is through the sympathetic system and in the sympathetic system it may be due either with specific sympathetic nerves or is a part of peripheral portion of the spinal nerves but apart from sympathetic nerves there is one there is a parasympathetic system parasympathetic nervous system parasym the parasympathetic nerves they have been shown with the help of red color they they come directly from the brain with the help of some cranial nerves and they their role is to decrease the heart rate 
and to decrease the pumping power of the heart but they do not have direct role in the uh, stimulation of the vessels so the parasympathetic is also a part of autonomic nervous system sympathetic and parasympathetic both are part of the autonomic nervous system sympathetic has a lot of role in the circulation but parasympathetic just it can it has a role in decreasing the heart rate and decreasing the pumping power of the heart it does not have it does not have uh, direct uh, access to the blood vessels so it is not playing a role in the uh, circulation but it is definitely playing some role at the level of heart so so that's all about the introduction to the involvement of nervous system regulation of the circulation now how the nervous system how the heart how the brain gets signals about the circulation when the brain activates when the brain sends the signals through the sympathetic and when it is uh, sending signals through the parasympathetic that is something which we are going into discuss in the coming lectures thanks a lot for watching the video